good morning from Iron Mountain Highway. We decided to get up early, early this morning and head out so that we could see more wildlife. It's definitely worth getting up early in the morning. We saw a ton more. Ton more wildlife. Mm -hmm. Even saw one elk this morning. Levi saw it in the woods, so we had to turn around and go go back and, and try, to, try to find it, and we did. That was our first elk to see on this trip, and it was incredibly close to us. Don't know if we got a real good shot of it, it on video. It was kind of hidden in the woods. We got to see it. But Oh, I saw yep. it. Iron Mountain links a state park to a wildlife refuge, to the it's Black Hills National Forest. And then if you can see... Right, right there. That's Mount yep. Rushmore. That's Mount Rushmore. And the cool thing about Iron Mountain Highway, it has three tunnels. And the highway was designed, those tunnels were designed uh, so that when you come out of the tunnels, you actually see the four faces of Mount Rushmore. It, it so, is pretty breathtaking. I mean, when cool. you when it's you really come into cool. the tunnel the first time and you, and you see it and it's framed up. And what's cool is when you get up here on, on, on top of the mountain that we're on now, uh, there's a little stop that you can pull over. And it kind of gives the history of Norbeck, who was the engineer. He was a senator and a governor here in South Dakota. Uh, back in the early 1900s and he is the one who really laid out this road and designed the three tunnels to be able to see uh, Mount Rushmore framed up like that. So, I mean, it's designed that way on, was, on purpose. Cool. And we've only been through one of the tunnels. Yeah. So we haven't... Can't and wait to go through the, the other, other two. two that are closer. Um, but definitely worth. I mean, it's it's a it's a long winding road, but definitely worth taking up here and and checking out the wildlife. It's pretty spectacular. Yep. determine what my new title is chief pointer that's my new title <laughs> it's what I do best point we are about to get a stamp in the national uh, passport book this is our first stamp right first stamp. oh yeah first stamp so first, here we go first stamp. Very good. 
So here at Mount Rushmore National Monument, we just wanted to give you a few pointers that you might need to know before you go. We'll start with the Presidential Walk. I thought that was a, a, a really informative walk with, and you get some uh, different points of view of the monument. Um, up close views. Up close views. Um, a mistake that we made <laughs> was we we kind of did it backwards. We didn't kind of do it backwards. <laughs> we did it very backwards. And there were how many steps? Like 250 steps that we had to go up. Oh. So if we'd have gone the right way, we'd have had to go down 250 steps. So it's a, it's a pretty a pretty easy walkway to where the stairs yes. start, and we could have gone down and then up some a lot fewer steps. So. So whenever know. you, whenever you're looking at the monument, when you come in, the presidential walk starts to the left, and then there are different little stops that are in number order. They start with one through I think like 18. Instead, we started 18 and went around one. And also, Levi I wanted to mention that there are signs with each of the presidents that you can read about, um, and somehow we missed Teddy Roosevelt's. Sign. Don't know how we did that. So make sure you you hit them all. So that's the number one. Presidential walk, gotta take it. <laughs> number two, the museum, which we're right outside of right now. If, if you have time, definitely walk through the museum, read the signs, watch the video presentation that's in the little theater. It's it's a lot of interesting how and good time, history. How much time did we spend here? About? So we spent about two to three hours. Yeah, I'd we've say. been yeah. I mean, a couple hours. Yeah, they have a little, little 10 minute movie that you can watch. That was pretty um, cool. That was really cool. Yeah. Lots of information to read through. What else? Um, parking. The only thing that costs here is parking. It's $10. And, a, and the gift shop and souvenirs and things like that. Right. But it's just $10 to park. And the monument's free. Yep. But the one thing we didn't bring with us is water. water. Yeah. It's not terribly hot today, but we definitely needed some water with us. Yeah. That was just an oversight. The last thing is the passport book. Um, it's, it's a passport for the national parks, uh, like we said a little bit earlier. And um, anyway, so awesome. the one for here is uh, page 72 and 73. <laughs> so we'll we'll talk more about the passport yeah, uh, book. Important, but this, yeah. is, this is our first time with it. We bought it today and got our first stamp. So uh, we're excited to, to fill this up. And we, we bought this inside the gift shop in the museum and then at different ranger stations at different national monuments, national parks, you can get the stamp and you get your little passport stamps. It's just a fun thing. Yeah, we're do. excited to fill it up. Yep. So, those are just a few things to know before you go. There's plenty of stairs to walk. If you're looking for a nice workout, come to Mount Rushmore <laughs> and walk the stairs. It's a lots of fun. As we were walking back to our car and got to the parking garage, we remembered a, a one good more point. Tip. One, one more tip for you guys. If you're gonna come to Mount Rushmore, come early. I think we got here at 9, 9. 8.39, you know, middle of the week. It's not terribly busy. The parking lot's not completely full, but we got here early enough to where we got a great parking spot. And it was, I mean, yeah, there was hardly anybody here when we got here. Anything. We thought that was going to be our first time to use our annual National Park Pass, but nobody was there to show. There were no rangers <laughs> to pay. <laughs> Here we are at Badlands National Park. Like, you have to see this. It's indescribable. It's otherworldly. Yeah. I mean, 
we've not been a whole lot of places so far in the United States, Western United States, um, but we have been across California, Mexico, New Mexico, Arizona, Southern California, and uh, there's some pretty cool geological formations out there or whatever, but this is, this is really unique. Uh, the Badlands just kind of, they're carved out of this enormous grassland area out here in the Midwest. And so there's grass all around it, and then there's these massive white shell formations that you can see behind us. And we've just gotten in. Uh, so we're going to show a lot more, um, but definitely an amazing place to visit already. And so we can't wait to share with you what we're going to see today. One of the things we learned at the at the visitor station from a ranger is that there's no off air off limit area in this national park. If you can see it, you can climb on it. The only thing they said was just remember if you go up, you got to come down. If you go down, you got to go up. So you're you are the bearer of your own safety, which safe. I call that freedom. Yeah, you know your limits. Right. <laughs> and we sure know ours. Well, I know my <laughs> limit, and it's not very far. The rugged beauty of the Badlands draws visitors from around the world. These striking geological deposits contain one of the world's richest fossil beds. Ancient horses and rhinos once roamed here. The park's 244,000 acres protect an expanse of mixed grass prairie where bison, bighorn sheep, and prairie dogs live today. So we want to drop in here real quick and uh, we unexpectedly came across one of the Minutemen National Historic Site that uh, it's like a museum. Uh, very close to here is one of the launch sites. Um, there's hundreds of launch sites still active there. At one time there were like a thousand. Anyway, if you have an opportunity to hop off of I-90 when you're coming through, great place to uh, stop, get a little bit of history on what protected our nation for many, many years um, from Soviet aggression. And uh, I don't know, it's a fascinating part of our history that's not necessarily over. Obviously, it's been downsized. Um, but, uh, but anyway, you, you got to stop here and, and learn. I mean, this was very, very unexpected important. stop. Yeah, very informative, very unexpected stop for us. Um, but we definitely highly recommend stopping in.
Watch out. I don't think you're saying you need to worry about a hog getting it. As the shadows grew long on the horizon, we began to notice the changing colors of the landscape. The white shell and gray ash deposits transformed into a glowing bright yellow hue, revealing yet another unique treasure to behold. We are leaving our campground in Custer, South Dakota. Broken Arrow Horse Camp and Campground. Awesome campground. We can't recommend it enough. They offer full hookup sites as well as water and electric sites. We were able to get into a water and electric site. We call it last minute, I think the day before we were gonna arrive and we're able to get in. It's one of the only campgrounds around here that we were able to <laughs> find last minute reservations. So, we just wanted to give a quick review. It was very clean. I, that's number one. I mean, their grounds were immaculate the entire time we here. Um, they were always out picking up trash. Always. They, they um, run trash every morning. They come by your campsite, pick it up uh, between 7 and 10, I think. It's very convenient. Awesome. Um, the bathhouses were really, really nice. We were able to conserve some of our gray water tank um, by taking showers in the bathhouse. They had a nice dump station so even though we didn't have yep. a sewer hookup at our site we were able to dump very easily very easy to get to and use uh -huh. the boys enjoyed their movie <laughs> yeah. selection they and they have... enjoyed going and visiting with the camp yeah, owners yeah. i mean they're super super nice people they treat you like family they come around they talk to you mm -hmm. uh there's a guy that's there that's kind of like a camp host as well that that lives at the campground stays there uh, that helps pick up the trash and do maintenance and whatnot but Super the nice. boys enjoy at the at, in the store. They have a small little camp store, and they enjoy the movie selection. You can just go and and check out movies like the library as long as you return them. Um, so huge movie selection. The boys were excited to watch movies every night. At night, there's tons. I mean, it's a horse camp, so most yeah. of the traders are there are, are like horse trader campers. So a lot, of, most of the people there have horses and they're trail riding. And they uh, have. And they, and they, have, they provide like stalls for your horse right. if you have a horse. But the horses are not allowed in the campground area. They have a couple right. of stable areas, but there's not like, <laughs> there's not horse poo everywhere. No. You don't smell it. Um, probably the only drawback, that, and it's a small drawback, there are a lot of flies. There's nothing they can do about that. Right. I mean, with horses and horse manure, there's going to be flies. They're everywhere. I mean, you just got to deal but with they it. They weren't too big of a nuisance. No, no, not <laughs> bad at all. No, no reason not to come. Highly recommend. I think this is our five favorite. Stars. So far. Yeah, five um, stars. And one last perk for the Broken Arrow Horse Camp and Campground is um, the location. Phenomenal location, right outside of Custer, uh, which, which is, is a cool, a really little downtown. Cute little town. Uh, very close to Hill City. Very close, like maybe two miles from the uh, from the gate of Custer State Park. Uh, maybe what 15 miles from Mount Rushmore ish through Custer Park. It's about two hours from the Badlands, uh, maybe 30 minutes or so to Wind Cave National Park. I mean, it, it is a great location. It's a great location, close to everything. And if you need a big city, it's only, what, 50 minutes from Rapid yeah. City. Yeah, Rapid so, City was where we, we had to go to Best Buy and do some, run some errands. Technology. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so. great location.
location, great place. Thanks. I enjoyed it. Thanks for a great stay. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our Roads Rules channel. And always remember, life is a journey. You hold your mat.